this morning we are driving through the amazing town of Astoria and I really wish we spent more time here. Uh, we just went to get some lunch um, here and now we are headed, let's see if I can show you, across the Columbia to Washington State. So um, we had a great week uh, at Fort Stevens State Park. Uh, the weather was all right. I'm gonna say it was fantastic. Really windy. Yeah, really super, windy. Super windy and kind of cold. Yeah, and cold. And then, um, so we are gonna drive four hours now to uh, Olympic National Park, and we're gonna stay in the Forks area where there there's some dispersed camping, and then we'll spend the weekend exploring Olympic uh, National Park and. From there, on Monday, at the end of our weekend, I think we're gonna cross the border. <laughs> so. Got your passport? Got a, yeah, yep, got Finney's passport. We are all ready. And uh, yeah, excited to explore Olympic National Park and Canada. And then eventually we'll head back to Montana and to the East Coast, which seems like a lot to do in the remaining four months. Kind of terrifying. Kind of terrifying. Yeah. Long drive to get to Nova Yeah, Scotia. we didn't, yeah. <laughs> we, didn't, like we didn't realize 3, miles. <laughs> how far Montana was even just from Boston. It's um like a day and a half. It's tricky to do with a two-year-old. So um, we'll get there when we get there, but there's so no, much we, to see. We realized how big, how long it was. We no, just, I did not. The reality of it is now <laughs> setting in. Uh, you know, we wanted to more. be we wanted to be on the east coast by like mid July, and it's mid June. Okay. And we still want to see all of Washington, Canada. <laughs> Canada, Montana. Yeah. It's gonna be long, Can long we driving. do it? But we're gonna have to keep looking at the news and checking for the fires, both uh, in Victoria and also in Nova Scotia. So hopefully. Um, those subside and the east get east coast gets a little better air quality because your videos that you've been sending us have been frightening all right on to washington spot off the side of the road on this little side road and um, it's pretty sweet so let's show you around we're gonna go down to the river we got a little dump truck we're gonna play with some sand let's see so here we are put the awning out because it's raining just on this side road next to this amazing river. I don't know if you can tell how blue that river is. It is so cool. And it's just us on this forest road camping for the night.
seven. Is your, is your truck lifted, Finn? What kind of suspension's on that thing? Four, four by four, I'm assuming? It's gotta be. Oh, that was pretty quick, actually. That was pretty quick, actually. It's usually a 10 minute ordeal. Two person job. Okay, where is your rain jacket? It's not raining. Oh. We won't be long. It's like right there. Okay, let's go see the biggest tree of all time. Let's go, Finny. Slippery roots. That one. It's pretty big. Look at it. It goes forever. <laughs> I got some. It's yeah, humongous. Pretty big. And that, that trunk at the base must be 30 feet circumference. <laughs> okay. It is. It's huge. It's hard to just say hard telling not knowing on that one. It's a big one, folks. We got a big one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what a rainy night looks like. We haven't had many of these, but I'm over here getting ready to do the dishes. Having, getting ready to have a little dance party while I do the dishes. And then we have Mama reading her book. Mm -hmm. And the boy watching some boob tube. Rainy night in Washington now. Good morning. We are uh, headed to the Ho Rainforest. Though it felt like we might have been sleeping in it last night anyway. Uh, and then we will go back on the 101 north to some waterfalls, um, past forks. Um, yeah, so that's the day. Day one in Olympic National Park. See you there. So we made it to the Ho Rain Forest and we're embarking on the Trail of Mosses, right? Hall, Hall of Mosses? Yeah. It's only a it's a little under a mile, so we'll see if Finn can hold it together. But it should be cool. It's already very green. There is water Look how clear it is, buddy. We are about to start the Soul Duck Trail, uh, our second activity of the day. We did the whole rainforest first, and now here we go. We're going to do just under a mile to the waterfalls.
What do you think, Vinny? Is it cool? Vin. camp spot for was it Saturday night right? yes. and uh, we're literally just on the park it's parked on the side of the road but on the other side of our spot is a nice river with literal like glacial blue water it's very pretty and I don't know if the camera's picking up on that but we're gonna walk down to a little beach that I found a few minutes ago ready let's do it Dump trucks. <laughs> plug. Plug. <laughs> Slug. Oh my gosh, I I could have stepped on that before. Wow, look at that thing. It doesn't have spots it, like Jill, the other Jill, put your one. hand next to it just so we can see how big it is. Whoa. <laughs> oh, is it cool? Wow. I wonder if it's still a banana slug even though it doesn't have spots. I don't know, but it's pretty big. I tapped him. Yeah, he's a pretty big dude. Are those his ears? Those big holes? Holes on the side? Yeah. I don't know. Wow, I just walked through this path <laughs> and I could have ended him. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't see ya. I'm sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> you ready to go to the beach? Yeah. Okay, let's go. No more than 30 seconds after that slug, we come across this magnificent Hi, creature. What Hallin. is it, Finny? Hollin. He is going somewhere fast, Finn. Look how big he Yet is. Yet again, another one. massive. This one's like six inches long, this slug. Banana. Hi, Nana. Hi, Nana. And then right here is another massive snail. We really gotta look where we're stepping. Wow. Another one! It's even <laughs> bigger! Look at the size of this thing! Oh, why Whoa. does he have a boulder on his neck? He's, a, he's got he's a goiter. Stomach. Wow. Should I touch it? No! No? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's a slow. What can it do? We made it to our private beach. Moving at a quick lick here. It's hard to, hard to, I don't know if the camera picks up on the blue hue at all, but it is very pretty. I don't know if this is technically some glacial water involved, but very, very pretty. It's Sunday. Um, got up somewhat early and we're going to check out Marymere Falls. A little quick one and a half mile loop. Um, this is Lake Crescent here. It's beautiful uh, blue glacial water. And uh, we're going to look, go find some falls that feed into it. Let's see how it goes. We found a big one. Ready for it? <laughs> this is just the base. What do you think, Finny? It's a big one. Look at that. You I think it broke at the top. But it is yeah. It just keeps going. <laughs> Thank you. 
made it up to the falls, treacherous 0.7 miles. It is a very pretty fall. Perfect temperature. What do you think, Bill? It's great. I really like this fern wall over here. The fern wall? I didn't see the fern wall. Our son is climbing up the stairs unattended. <laughs> but that is a very nice fern wall. Lots of ferns. Ferry, bringing all the people. So we were in uh, Port Angeles, Washington, after having a nice little morning uh, hike, getting some pizza and some brews, and uh, just enjoying a really, really nice day today. Um, the sun's finally out. We'll get some ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> get some ice cream, and then we're gonna make about a three and a half hour drive to Belling, Bellingham. Washington, um, stay the night there, and then tomorrow continue heading up north into Canada. Probably gonna, we're looking to stay maybe in Squamish for the week, uh, for the work week. So keep you updated and see where we get to. Word to the wise if traveling in Washington using Google Maps, make sure you actually look at the planned route because there's so many waterways and islands and things. We had no idea that our route to Bellingham from Port Angeles was actually taking us onto a ferry, um, which is cool, fun, and Finn will like it, but you typically have to make reservations for these ferries, and Google Maps did not notify us at all that we were going to be put on a ferry or at anything, so we just kind of showed up at this, uh, at this ferry, and uh, the lady at the at the dock said we have a good chance of making it but we're on standby um, and it was an additional fifty dollars to get onto this so a little frustrating we tried to look at the maps um, to see if there was an adi a different way to go um, but it would have added almost three hours to the trip so yes this is more efficient but going into it we had no idea again that we were going to be on a ferry and paying an extra fifty dollars to do so so a little frustrated but it's fine we're gonna oh and the and the ferry doesn't come for another hour, so <laughs> here we are on the beach hanging out. We'll play for a little bit and then uh, hopefully get on that ferry. What's Mama doing? Oh, ah, it's coming! <laughs> Woo! Finny, you gotta put it on your truck. Initially, I was pretty pissed about this whole very situation. I handle it great though, don't worry. But now I'm realizing that it'll be an exciting adventure for Finny, who's never been on a ferry, right? A baby now. A baby ferry? Oh no! Dump truck down. Dump truck down. Okay, get your dump truck. Finny, we gotta go this way. Come on, let's go get. Hey, we're playing in the road. on, on standby. What is this ferry? We should know the, the name. Kenwick. The Kenwick. 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 Going from Washington State to Washington State. We made it. We're going. Finny, what do you think? <laughs> Right. Good afternoon, evening. It is Sunday, June, let me look, I don't know, 11th. Um, we just drove from Port Angeles this morning, took a ferry, um, and ended up in right outside of Bellingham, Washington. Uh, we're at a Harvest Host winery. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you guys around. So we're just in this, amongst this field, there's a couple other people here using Harvest Host. There's some of the vineyard there and a big old 
big old barn up there. Um, they specialize mostly in like ciders and white white wines. Did a little tasting. We got a little a little sample pack for purchase. Jill's making some pasty. Yeah. And the boys playing. The boys doing what the boy does. Yeah. Um. So tomorrow we will be. Yes, we'll be driving up to Canada. Yeah, we're about probably only an hour from the border. So to Canada we go and we're going to check out uh, Squamish and Whistler tomorrow and figure out where we want to be for the week for Jill's work and where we can uh, have enough to entertain Finn and do all that. So um, into Canada we go. We'll see how it goes. Alright, had to walk out a little bit because I wanted to show you guys the view. Look at those mountains up there. They're massive. Massive, massive mountains. Um, here we are for the night. So for for those of you who don't know what Harvest Host is, is you basically pay a, sub, a yearly annual subscription and it gives you access to staying at wineries, breweries, um, we paid a little bit extra to get access to what's called boondockers. Um, basically, everyday people open up their driveways or their land um, to people like us looking for a place to stay. So um, I think it was like 180 bucks for the year. And we basically get to stop at all these wonderful places. And um, they're, all the ones we've stayed at have been very friendly, very beautiful. Um, yeah, bud. That's a big barn. Um, so, um, where was I? Yeah, Harvest Host. Highly recommend if uh, if you're able to afford it. Um, it is very worth it. We've probably stayed at six Harvest Hosts throughout this whole process. Um, because you paid your subscription up front, you're technically staying for free, but they also recommend that you, if you're staying at like a winery or a brewery that you purchase some of their product um 10 20 bucks um so that's what we're doing you run one fast oh he's getting ready oh you see that look folks that means he's powering up he's getting amped ready go 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 Come on, Finny. Here we are. Good morning. <laughs> I think it's day four that we haven't showered. Look at the face there. <laughs> no, we did not take a shower, folks. That's grease. That is nature shower. <laughs> I'm just as bad. I can't talk. And then, Finny, what is in your hands? Put it. Yeah, someone ate a donut. With strawberry filling. We're having a lot of creaky issues this morning too. The humidity is strong. It's hot for once. We haven't been hot in a few months, I feel like. Uh, and we are headed to Canada. Hopefully the Oh Canada. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, and then yeah, hopefully the border crossing goes okay. I've never crossed into Canada with a giant van full of things, so I'm sure they're gonna make us pull over, but um, I don't know, we'll see. We have our passport, that's about it. And uh, we'll see you on the other side. All right. I got arrested. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> they were we put, so nice, of course, they're we, Canadians. They're we so put nice. Jill in the driver's seat, Just so they didn't have a sketchy, greasy, <laughs> greasy man. man. At the wheel, but uh, yeah, no problems. Right through. They were so nice, actually. We love Canada. Yeah, we're here. Woo! Two months, we made it. We made it. We <laughs> made it, Finny. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. All right, next stop. Squamish. Squamish.
<laughs> so that is, that's KJ. That's KJ who we met. Good. <laughs> KJ we met in Cabo six months ago. And we do plan on seeing them. KJ and Chantel, we plan on seeing them in a week. And we are driving to Squamish right now when we happen to be driving by their hometown. And KJ just pulls up next to us and starts beeping. And we're like, who is that? <laughs> so hello KJ, we see you. <laughs> so nice to see you. Oh, that was so cool.